Hi everybody, my name is Ruchith. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Kushi Baby. Kushi means happiness in Hindi, and it's our goal to have happy, healthy babies around the world. So this is Devli. She's the mother of a six-month-old girl, and today she's walking to the health camp in her village. She walks kilometers through 100 plus degree weather to get to this health camp, which happens only once every month. And she brings with her a paper card. When she gives this paper card to the health worker, the health worker actually doesn't realize that Devli's daughter hasn't been gaining weight over the last two months because this data was never recorded. This is the reality that we see every day, and this is the reality that underlies a grim statistic. 50 out of every thousand children in our district of Udaipur do not see their first birthday. One root cause is the health system itself. It's not accountable to know which mothers and children are falling through the cracks, and therefore which mothers and children are missing out on those early and essential primary care interventions that they need for their future health and well-being. Our thesis is that in order for us to gain any aspirational goals in early childhood development from a holistic standpoint, we need to think of the child before it's even in the womb which is why we are tracking health longitudinally from the family planning stage all the way through early childhood. With structured, accountable, and longitudinal health and development data, we can now unlock AI tools to tell us how Davely's anemia in her pregnancy, for example, may affect her daughter's future malnutrition and ultimate development. These types of insights, however, are not available on paper, where data is often duplicated, manipulated, and that medical history is often not used at the point of care. With Cushy Baby, we allow parents to wear their medical and developmental history of their kids in this digital pendant. They take this pendant to these medical camps, where the health workers can scan it using an Android device and see the progress of both the mother and the child. They can then react and respond accordingly. This actually serves as a vital accountability check to make sure that the health worker actually saw that beneficiary in these last mile settings. Finally, when data is eventually uploaded to the cloud, we send automated voice call reminders so that these parents are empowered to do three things. One, know when to come in for their next visit. Two, look out for developmental milestones and delays. And three, understand what kinds of activities they can do with their young children. The value out of our system has been tested in a two-year 3,000 mother randomized control trial across 600 villages. We were able to improve behavior outcomes like increasing infant immunization rates. We were able to improve health outcomes like decreasing acute malnutrition among infants. And we were able to improve the system itself by improving the number of health camps that were held according to schedule. We are working right now in 400 villages, tracking the health and development of 30,000 mothers and their babies. And it's our goal to be the lead knowledge partner for the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, so that way we can reach one and a half million children and track their health and development longitudinally in the next two years. We have a team of 23 members that are working on this full time, half of whom work in the field directly with our health champions. And with the MIT Solve community, we learned today of many collaborators that are in this space. We want to work with them to better detect as well as respond to those holistic early childhood development gaps, especially at the last mile. So join us on this journey so that way we can make every child healthy, happy, and cushy.